Welcome to this AWR TV video where we're going to review the new features in Microwave Office 2010. If you experienced Microwave Office users, uh, you'll just really enjoy this new release. It's uh, everything that you come to expect from an AWR release, uh, and it will not disappoint. There's a couple new features, actually uh, four or five new features that we're going to highlight today. Uh, the first one is nonlinear behavioral black box modeling inside the AWR design environment. A multi-rate harmonic balance is an exciting new simulation technology, and coupled with that are some new analysis capabilities like constant compression or constant output power simulations. Also, some new linear stability analysis is included as well. And um, in terms of connectivity tracing, there's a connectivity tracer that allows you to graphically locate uh, collections of nets and find any opens or shorts uh, visually in your circuit. There's two new optional modules that you can add to your Microwave Office development environment. One of them is for filter design, and the other is for connecting to the Cadence Allegro environment. Now, there's a lot of information out there about nonlinear behavioral models. Many test and measurement providers are uh, making this capability possible or making this capability available to you, but it really needs to plug into your simulation environment as well. So the answer to whether AWR supports this or not is absolutely yes, and in more ways than one. In addition to Agile and X parameters, the Majuro Cardiff model supported, and there's other exciting new models out there that allow you to take measurements directly from your piece of test equipment and plug them into uh, the simulation environment that AWR provides and do nonlinear uh, simulation. This is an exciting new capability, and if you'd like more information about this evolving field, I encourage you to go to openwayforum.org and learn more online. Multi-rate harmonic balance is a new simulation technique that goes beyond the limitations that harmonic balance may have with high tone count simulations. These are typically spectrally rich simulations. We're talking about transceivers or system on chip or module. And what HB, uh, what uh, multi-rate HB allows you to do is deliver much faster simulation times in a reduced memory space. In this example that I'm showing here, we have a QPSK modulator with about 130 nonlinear elements. So it's a very dense solution, if you will, in the harmonic balance sort of simulation space, uh, but the memory consumption and simulation time with multi-rate harmonic balance is more than 50% less than what you would get with harmonic balance. This means that for very large designs or incredibly tonally rich designs, you'll be able to solve it on a standard PC uh, without running out of memory, without HB um, sort of running out of steam, and the results will match with what the HB uh, would have given you if you could have run it in that uh, sort of PC configuration. In terms of new analysis techniques on the nonlinear side, uh, for PA designers in particular, there's uh, constant compression, constant output power simulations. Uh, compression can be computed from the linear gain region or from the maximum gain region. You can look at gain expansion while you're holding the output power constant and look at what the variables in your design uh, may be doing uh, as, you, as you hold uh, output power constant. On the uh, linear side, uh, additional stability analysis is provided that goes beyond the traditional uh, metrics that we have, uh, as well as the gamma probe. Uh, this implements the normalized determinant function, and stability envelope are added as uh, measurements here. Uh, the key benefit in terms of this implementation is that it's really just a one-click implementation to get you from your simulation to this sort of linear stability analysis. Uh, in terms of the connectivity checking that's uh, new in Microwave Office, this is a graphical technique which pretty much annotates the circuit in a very um, visual fashion so you can see what nets are being grouped together and where you may have opens or shorts uh, in a very color-coded uh, graphical fashion to help you uh, hunt these things down rather quickly in, um, in a complex environment like this. Uh, the nice color patterns and the, and the grouping of shapes according to the nets make it really easy to look where you have common nets and where you may have um, nets that you thought were the same uh, being separated. In terms of add-on modules, iFilter, Filter Synthesis Wizard, is a great new addition to the Microwave Office family. Uh, what you're able to do is uh, synthesize not only lumped elements, but distributed uh, filters as well. There's a very tight integration to the AWR toolset, and there's something here for novices um, and uh, the experienced user as well. Uh, the accuracy and the ability to realize filters is exceptional. It's an excellent starting point to get you going in Microwave Office. Um, you can then take the synthesized distributed filters, put them into AWR, and uh, send them off to Axiom or other EM solvers for verification or for additional fine tuning or looking at manufacturing sensitivities and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, you're able to compare features by superimposing the layouts from different types of filters to see which one's going to fit into your layout and which one's going to give you uh, the best space versus performance trade-off that you may want to make. 
Another new module that could be added to your AWR design environment is uh, another AWR connected solution uh, that was started several years ago. Uh, this new one is for the Cadence Allegro environment. So what this allows you to do is take your uh, PCB layouts directly from Cadence Allegro into the AWR design environment. On the fly, it takes that uh, layout and creates a schematic so that the resulting S parameters for your interconnects are automatically wired up to your components. There's no dropping in of components afterwards. The schematic is automatically created. Additionally, the full dielectric stackup is transferred from Allegro, so you don't have to worry about creating stackups or creating EM structures uh, before you can start doing simulation. You just import the design and hit simulate and it goes. It's a great new feature for those of you using the Cadence Allegro environment. And coupled with that, again, is the Axiom technology, uh, groundbreaking 3D planar technology that scales incredibly linearly or nearly linearly to help you solve those big PCB problems or those um, mimic or module problems that you may have as well. Uh, with the Cadence Allegro AWR connected solution, you can bring it right into AWR, the schematic, the layout, the EM structure right there, ready for you to send to Axiom. Uh, the productivity in Axiom is tremendous, and in this Microwave Office 2010 release, there's, uh, there's additional Axiom features that you can access if you have Axiom or if you want to get access uh, to Axiom. Uh, Axiom has been um, has some new features in this 2010 release as well, as does VSS. Now, uh, the VSS 2010 release, in specific for Microwave Office users, there's additional RF models and enhancements to the RF architecture capability, as well as additional um, modeling structures like a time delay neural net model and turbo decoders for 3G and 4G standards. So this is an exciting, uh, great new release for the entire AWR design environment and specifically for the Microwave Office users, there's plenty of things to look at. Now for those of you interested in Axiom, I want to encourage you on the AWR TV website to go look at some of those Axiom videos and see what you're missing or see what's new in Axiom 2010. Same thing for Microwave Office, there'll be some great new videos on Microwave Office 2010 that you can check out and as always, if you want, go to the AWR website and download an evaluation copy or contact your AWR sales professional if you have more questions.